U.S. consultancy firm McKinsey is being investigated by France's financial prosecutor after the French Senate released a report in March that called President Emmanuel Macron's ties with McKinsey sprawling and opaque. According to some experts, there is another U.S. firm with significantly more influence over the French presidency, BlackRock. Reportedly, the world's largest asset manager has had repeated contact with Macron and has participated in France's pension reform. Macron welcomed CEO Larry Fink to the Elysee Palace, together with two dozen other international financiers in 2017. Swiss economist Guy de Lafortelle has studied the role of BlackRock and finds the relationship between Macron and Fink disturbing. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink traveled to France during the most crucial moments of the two major events of the last two years, which were the health crisis and the introduction of the health pass, and a few days before the war in Ukraine. He says Fink's private jet was identified by author and journalist Dennis Robert, based on the flight records. And BlackRock has been showing an interest in buying French public debt. Since 2017, BlackRock has been overweighting French debt in their asset purchases. But that means they can sell these assets tomorrow. They can bring any president of the republic to his knees in the current system by selling the debt they bought. While there is no proof of direct ties between Macron and Fink, De La Fortelle points out how BlackRock has tried to influence the EU Commission on Finance Policy. According to a 2021 report, the company spent 30 million euros each year on lobbying EU institutions, and BlackRock members hold position in expert and working groups organized by the Commission. Meanwhile, Larry Fink says the invasion of Ukraine has the potential to accelerate the use of digital currencies. De La Fortelle says this fits with BlackRock's narrative as the group advocates for a reform of the EU central bank in a way to secure their benefits. He adds Macron's selling French energy giant Alstom's power and great businesses to General Electric also serves BlackRock's interests. BlackRock is now so big that BlackRock is intimately linked to the current system. They cannot survive the collapse of the system, so they have an interest in going to the end of the system. Capital has become an ogre in which you sacrifice everything to the house of capital. You sacrifice salaries, you sacrifice added value, you even sacrifice wealth in the end. It's something which becomes totally irrational. David Vives, NTD News, Paris.